In this video, we're going to set up the jQuery UI within our source code. Now, the first thing I want you to do is go out to jQueryUI.com. I will put the link to that website in the description of this video. And when you reach the site, I want you to click on this button right here, the stable button, and then I want you to download the jQuery UI. Once you've done that, you should have a folder that looks like this with a bunch of files in it. We're going to keep the entire folder. Now, what I want you to do is go ahead and rename the folder because this will make it easier for us to specify the path in our source code. So go ahead and just get rid of all of the release information. We don't really need that. If you want to keep it, you can, but you'll have to type out the full path when we do that later on in this video. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it, and it now should just be jQuery-UI. And then what we're going to do is copy it to our website folder. So we're going to keep the entire folder inside of our website folder. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up our website folder and we'll keep it on the right side here. Now what I want you to do is open up the index.html, our main index.html. And then let's go ahead and open up our jQuery UI folder. And we're going to use quite a few of these libraries. And the first thing we want to do is use this jQuery-UI. That's the main library we need to specify to load up the jQuery UI on our web page. Now later on, if you decide to go ahead and use this in your production website, you'll want to specify this library instead of this one. This is just a larger version. So we can use that since we're just testing. So let's go all the way to the bottom here. And here you will see we put our original jQuery library. Now this always has to come first. We always want to load this first. So anything that we do with the jQuery UI, we want to put after our main jQuery library. So let's just go ahead and copy and paste this. And you don't want to make this easier. Let's actually go back to our main folder and let's get rid of that hyphen too. We'll make this really easy to specify. So there we go. Now we just have jQuery UI. So the first thing we want to do, of course, for the path is just specify the folder name, which of course is just jQuery UI. And then we need a slash and let's drill back down into our folder. And of course, here again is the name of the file that we need. So it's going to be jQuery hyphen UI. And then we can get rid of all of this version information and it'll just be .js. So now we've got our jQuery UI library specified in our web page. And again, you always want to load this after our main jQuery library. Now, as I said in the last video, there are many other files that the jQuery UI provides. It provides images and it provides CSS files. So this is really a fully developed interface that we can call. And that's what we're going to do. We also have to specify all of these CSS files. In this case, we're going to take the jQuery UI CSS style sheet, the structure CSS style sheet, and the theme CSS style sheet. We need those three CSS files. And it's the same process. We basically want to load all these style sheets after we load our main style sheet. So let's just go ahead and copy and paste this like we did before. And it's the same process. We're just going to put in the folder name first and then specify our first style sheet, which is jQuery-UI. Let's get rid of the style. And there you can see, we've got our first CSS style sheet specified. But we need these other two, as I said. So let's just go ahead and copy and paste again. And on this one, we need a dot structure. Good. And we'll copy and paste one more time so we can pick up this third file down here. And this one, of course, is dot theme. So let's go ahead and save everything up. Let's go ahead and just load our web page just to make sure everything's okay. And as you can see, everything looks great. So we are all good to go. In the next video, we will add the date picker, which comes right from the jQuery UI. See you guys in the next video.